Hi, Travis Wayne Goodsell. I'm uh, saving the video I did before my run. So I'm going to start this one. <sighs> I was thinking I should have multitasked more than what I'm doing currently. <laughs> and uh, notice water in the Gatorade bottle. There is method in my madness. Wasn't the purpose of getting the Gatorade for the sake of the Gatorade. It was the use of them as water bottles. They're the perfect size. And uh, uh, if you are familiar with the warnings that people were coming out with saying, you, Oh, people aren't washing their water bottles. Bacteria, germs, disease. And they would show extreme water bottles that are just sick and gross. Uh, hello, have you heard of cleaning? <laughs> it's not complicated to clean. But, uh, oh well. So, uh, my videos nowadays are getting darker, if you haven't realized. Uh, that's because of the reality we face. Uh, in the beginning, several years back, uh, it was more of a uh, warning in the sense of people didn't know what to expect, what, that we, what we would experience, what we're now experiencing. And so, uh, to get dark back in the beginning uh, would have chased everyone away. I wouldn't be able to get the two or three viewers that I get now. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I know I'm joking, but, uh, uh, if you saw my video yesterday going over, uh, YouTube, uh, censoring, as again, I was proven correct, as YouTube confessed that that's what they've been doing. Uh, I, I, I have 11,000 views in a 28-day period of time. And so it, it works out to uh, 300, is it? I didn't check the average. But uh, I, three, three years ago, when I was beginning to warn people, uh, before I even knew the church's full involvement, uh, that came when I studied church history. <coughs> uh, which was a necessary part of the research because uh, there were signs with missing information. I couldn't quite figure it out until I studied church history and went, oh, that's why Nelson representing Mars was with the total solar eclipse on the 21st of August 2017. Because <laughs> Mars was on one side, Mercury representing Trump was on the other. The religion and government. That's the sign. That's the symbol. And, uh, and so once I studied church history, it all fit into place. And, uh, but I still needed to uh, work on Mormons step by step. Huh. Yeah, there's a scripture on that, Mormons. That was what I was trying to look for yesterday, and I couldn't remember the words from the text to search for it. That's not it. <laughs> Let's try uh, There it is. <laughs> line upon line. <laughs> precept upon precept. 
And remember that uh, Wilford, uh, yeah, Wilford Woodruff uh, in, wrote in his journal what became part of the introduction, uh, wrongly attributed to Joseph Smith, that the Book of Mormon uh, is the most correct book, and then Mormons stop there. <laughs> As critics say, uh, it's plagiarized. <laughs> That's no, keep reading. <laughs> then a man will draw nearer to God by abiding by its precepts than by any other book. And so here you have in Isaiah 28, which is copied over in 2 Nephi 28, part of the plagiarism. Uh, For behold, thus saith the Lord God, I give, I will give unto the children of men, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little, and blessed be those, are those who hearken unto my precepts, <coughs> and lend an ear unto my counsel, for they shall learn wisdom. For unto him that receiveth I will give more, and from him that shall say, We have enough from them shall be taken away even that which they have. And so then it goes on to talking about the prophecy that in the latter days men will say uh, a Book of Mormon, a Book of Mormon, we have a Book of Mormon when we need no more Book of Mormon. <laughs> well, it's a Bible, right? And uh, so Mormons believe in continual revelation in the form of Scripture and with uh, Brigham Young it stopped. <laughs> Joseph Smith fully intended to uh, translate the book of Joseph and, and uh, correct the Bible to fulfill Ezekiel 37, but uh, murdered by Brigham Young's orders. And so that's what, this is the principle that I was using with you guys this whole time, is trying to give little by little, gradually improve. The only problem is that I uh, uh, people are coming to my videos later now. See, now we're at the dark videos, and Mormons are are staying far away because they weren't there in the beginning to be prepared, line upon line, precept upon precept, to help Mormons figure it all out. And, uh, and so many 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 problems have resulted as Mormons harden their hearts uh, to the truth and reality that the church has abandoned them now that, that's why we're in the dark period of my videos is because the church are actually going through with what I was warning about and uh, part of the problem is that we as a culture have been censored in our understanding of world history. Uh, for example, World War II. Uh, Democrat communists, because that's what they are, they're communists. They are promoting communist values, and that's all in their platform. They believe in segregation. They're segregationalists. And you think, well, no, that's Republicans, because Republicans hate those who aren't white. Well, that's not quite segregationalist. Uh, the Republicans are, uh, are murderers. They uh, enslave those who aren't of the master white race. And that's the difference. Is communism accepts every culture as long as they stay separated. Uh, that's the difference. And so everybody is equal as long as they're separate. So uh, even women and men, the sexes, they want separation between the sexes so that women can rise to power and men can rise to power, but they're separated so that they leave women alone so that women can rise to power. Uh, and, and you know that in America, that's not a condition that's viable. We have to live together. And, and so Democrats are a failed system. Even though they're the more popular one, 
uh, because they appeal to people's vanity in pursuit of power and dominance. Uh, but uh, uh, nobody wants to talk about how World War II got started. We don't want to learn what's uh, what happened and how did we get to the point where when our soldiers came into Auschwitz and found the dead bodies from the gas chambers uh, we just we block out that memory and we don't want to understand how did they get to that point of the dark times that we now are facing in America and we refuse or they refuse to inform us of how we got to this point in American history and world history because this is World War three guys you've all understood it but you've had your own interpretations of how it was going to end and this is not the way you intended thus you don't accept it as World War three but that's what we're in and and the enemy that be purposely caused this fulfilling it as you guys had believed but are in denial of believing <laughs> and then you have uh, the democrat commies who insist that we must be shamed and, and, and guilt tripped into uh, refusing to learn our history that no we don't want to go there it's a shame what happened was shameful and we're not going to go over it because of the shame that's there <sighs> no you have to go over it because you will repeat history as we've now done if you don't study the causes of the past <sighs> and uh, and so uh, that's the Democrat position is, is they make people ashamed and they cancel people out who attempt to try to uh, warn of the comparisons uh, with the World War II. Oh, video's done. Uh, so Republicans, on the other hand, they get angry and condemn anyone who draws a comparison with World War II. Uh, you saw that with the rise of Trump taking office. His Democrats were saying, hey, oh, this is what Hitler did. And the Republicans came out and said, how dare you to make the comparison? There is no comparison. <laughs> See what I mean? They condemn. But the Dems were right, because Trump had Stephen Miller a known neo-Nazi who wants to implement Nazi Germany on America. And then you had Steve Bannon previously, uh, during the campaign, who is the mastermind behind the destruction of the world. He's the one who created the new titles of globalist and populist. And he's the one that had Cambridge Analytica that sold the data to Russia who used it against the world. It wasn't just America's 2016 election. It was Brexit, it was the elections throughout Europe. You know, Steve Bannon is the cause of destruction. He's the mastermind. And, and he's just wandering free, walking around the states now, because uh, everybody forgets, because they, the Democrats shame people who try to figure out the origins and and uh, and Republicans are purposely letting them get away with it. Uh, but he is the enemy of the people, literally. All right, uh, LDS church lawyers mock lawsuit proving it true. Oh, all right, I don't need to worry about it. I just have to type in LDS church lawyers mock. Alright. Okay. I'll upload it after I finish this video. Because this video is going to be long if you haven't figured it out already. And 
And so uh, the uh, Republicans uh, censored World War II history uh, by condemning it, uh, condemning anybody who would dare uh, pursue a uh, comparison and uh, the study of, whereas uh, Democrats uh, do the cancel culture by guilt tripping people into being ashamed of bringing it up. And so uh, we as a whole don't understand how World War II Nazi Germany rose to the dark days that they had as we here in America are now being separated from our origin story as to how we got here. And uh, uh, in Nazi Germany, uh, they didn't immediately lock up Jews for the sake of locking up Jews because they were Jews. Uh, people don't understand that. Uh, we find out after the fact that that was the under overarching umbrella uh, of the master plan for the master race. But to the German people, they had to use this practice of precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, as they lead people down the depth, into the depths of hell into the dark period of, of war crimes as it became uh, and, and so in the beginning uh, Hitler was a socialist well, communist because there's no such thing as a socialist if you understand the correct definitions just because you call yourself a socialist Bernie doesn't mean you're actually a socialist because it's a communist is a socialist Republican and uh, a Republican is a representative Republican or not yeah did I say Nazi Republican is in, yeah, whatever <laughs> uh, but uh, and so Hitler ran on on wanting to help the German people who were the labor force and uh, notice that uh, Democrats are trying to do that same concept of we're here to help the working class what about the poor oh yeah them too but they're segregated <laughs> we're trying to appeal to the most people because we want democracy majority rules rather than and following the Constitution of elevating everyone to prosperity. Neither party wants that. And so both parties are fighting for their party platform over the Constitution. <coughs> and so Hitler was appealing to the labor class. And uh, uh, through situations ended up in power. And uh, at the beginning, uh, he passed certain laws that were the foundation stepping stones. And uh, it was here a little, there a little. Uh, hi. You, you implement the Nazi youth or the Hitler youth. Uh, so you raise up the rising generation to be totally subservient to you and uh, will follow your orders and you uh, enlist uh, the, uh, the young adult youth uh, to join the military and, uh, and so he was setting the foundation for his uh, military force to implement his eventual master plan and those were the, the things to, to watch for in uh, other situations. So when Russell M. Nelson became president of the church, and then that summer gave a talk to the youth and implemented the youth battalion 
the Mormon Youth Battalion, the LDS Battalion, whatever he called it, uh, I immediately went, ah! <laughs> because I knew what was happening. He was purposely uh, setting the foundation for the rising generation of Mormons and to uh, be subservient when World War III ends. And uh, uh, if you go back and watch that that video, because the church put it on YouTube, uh, you might be able to find it on their website, but it's a struggle to find things on the search engine. <laughs> uh, but uh, 2018, Nelson and Sister Nelson speak to the youth. Uh, and uh, he threatened the youth to stay away from their cell phones. Get off of them. And uh, uh, he uh, told the, the youth that uh, they needed to give up on their Mormon friends and pursue recruitment of their non-Mormon friends. That they should devote themselves to that purpose and give up listening to the news and uh, so that they wouldn't hear anything about all the scandals that are going on and all the dangers that are coming. Again, purposely censoring information so that our youth could be blinded to the truth. And uh, uh, he wanted the youth to read their Book of Mormon and, and Nelson was all about, uh, look at me, I'm searching the Book of Mormon for every thing about Jesus. Again, he's putting on a show for you. He uh, only wants Mormons to focus on one aspect of the Book of Mormon, not the Book of Mormon in context. Because the Book of Mormon, if you were to actually study it in context, one, you'd find out it's plagiarized. But, you'd find out that there's the coded messaging that I've been trying to explain to you. And the coded messaging has to do with the latter-day warning. Don't put a king on the throne. And the Nephites put king men on the throne and, and uh, they destroyed the nation of the Nephites. I, I look out for the great and abominable church. And they have multiple examples throughout the Book of Mormon about that. How to identify the corrupt church. And, no, nope, church leaders say, don't do that. <laughs> and there's a reason why, if you were to actually make the comparison chart. This is what the great and abominable church does. This is what the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints does. Uh-oh. <laughs> exactly. It's a direct comparison match, which is why I did the video, Brigham Young mocks the Book of Mormon, purposely. Uh, <clears throat> is because uh, uh, there's no way somebody could be that separated from the Book of Mormon as the leader of the Mormon Church and be clueless as to uh, what the Book of Mormon teaches about what you're not supposed to do but then does everything that you're not supposed to do. It, it doesn't make any sense other than it's a pure out mockery <clears throat> to demonstrate to his uh, Scottish Rites Illuminati buddies that he's a loyalist and that he has conquered the Mormon Church that had conquered or held back the destruction of America as they were planning. And uh, and so those types of things were a part of the rise to Nazi Germany. Uh, like I said, Jews were not originally uh, criminals, uh, but that's how they did it. They uh, staged, uh, uh, whether in the press or, or staged uh, red flag, uh, criminal behavior to justify uh, blaming all Jews eventually and uh, then they started elevating and escalating 
into calling them an infection on the Jewish people uh, and to put a scare into people about the Jews that they had diseases that were going to spread to the Germans and, and uh, when you have uh, the youth and the young men adults who are are set up to be loyalists to the Germans uh, they're seeing something and saying something and so you get people seeing Jews and going oh the infection blowing their whistle to get the attention of the police the SS and all others uh, to lock them up and uh, and thus we have uh, great literature of the diary of Anne Frank and and the uh, great movie by Steven Spielberg uh, Schindler's List as there were Germans who realized no no that no come on guys we're better than this but we can't say it because then they will get arrested as sympathizers <coughs> and so it escalated and uh, once you get them locked up, uh, then that's where the psychiatrists and the medical doctors come into play, where they were ordered to do human experimentations, tortures, uh, to test uh, uh, the body functioning uh, and its tolerance levels for uh, freezing and heat and torture and and just it makes you cry when you watch uh, reenactments but uh, uh, they uh, uh, locked up people who were critics or who were victims of the here see something say something agenda uh, and uh, were drugged as uh, accused mental people and uh, there is no such thing as a mental illness that's the whole point is that they use drugs to cause uh, a person to be brain dead in a sense to have brain malfunctions so it appears that they were right oh okay they really are mentally ill because see how they behave no it's the drugs guys there is no mental illness it's caused uh, when uh, there's brain damage uh, in the speech center of the brain a person has trouble speaking it's not mental illness it's uh, a brain malfunction uh, and so uh, comprehension uh, damage in the brain uh, likewise a person's not able to comprehend things and, and so they appear uh, as if they have a mental illness but there's no such thing that's the great scam that psychiatry has used on everybody in the world uh, but we're using in World War II and they were able to show the Germans the justification with the outward appearance of after they started the drugging and the torture and so people go oh wow yeah wow it's a good thing we turned them in uh, and so little by little it got darker and darker and uh, the German people for the most part didn't see it except for the underlying group uh, the Church of Jesus Christ in Germany uh, refused to uh, speak out against Hitler and uh, the Mormon Church even punished any Mormon who spoke out against Hitler and uh, tried to rescue Jews. Uh, Mormonism and the swastika goes over all that. Uh, it's a book and it's a video on YouTube you can watch. And so the church revealed itself as fascist Nazis and that's why they've never spoken out against Nazis specifically. Uh, they've spoken out about communism when the Nazi sympathizer McCarthy uh, wanted to retaliate against the communists, Democrats, uh, for World War II. 
uh, by creating the Red Scare and uh, blacklisting uh, all of Hollywood and anybody who is a Democrat sympathizer. And in part he was correct because communism, like I said, is an abominable uh, platform. But so is Nazism. Because neither one follow the constitution of life, liberty, and property to everybody. No segregation. Everybody has a melting pot. But, uh... Yeah, nobody, nobody saw it coming here in America. And uh, we all fell for it. As, like I said, uh, Steve Bannon, with his analytical programs, uh, collected the data. And then, like I've been telling you guys in other videos, the analytical data was designed on psychiatrist, <coughs> psychologist, Stanley Smith Stevens, who's Mormon who was Mormon, he's dead now, and uh, he uh, uh, provided the classification of dichotomy and non-dichotomy categorization. The dichotomy is a two-party conflict, and uh, the spectrum is the non-dichotomous, where you have subgroups of the dichotomous groups. And that's how the analytical programs were designed. That's how they're still designed today. They predict rather than give you just the stats, the actual facts, the count numbers. Uh, because you can't predict human behavior. So what they did was force people into boxes so that they can then control the masses based upon the box they're in. So you're, if you're a Democrat, everything is centered around the investigative myopia of Demo the Democrat Party platform. Likewise for Republicans. And then within it, they have left, center, and right in both of those. And then a, a spectrum. People can be multiples on whatever. And the concept that uh, there's other platforms, such as the Constitution, uh, just is dismissed uh, in there. And so that's why it doesn't work on me. It's because I don't fall into the category boxes. And so Democrats watch my videos and get upset calling me a Nazi, <laughs> Republican, and Republicans uh, in turn call me a a dem snowflake. <laughs> I'm not a party man. I'm not associated with any party, and people don't understand that. It's like, what? Uh, uh, but if you're not my party, then you're the enemy party, the other party. No! There's other forms of government, and you're being lied to. And they, they people just don't get it. They don't see it. Because they've been brainwashed. And so for Democrats, you have to believe as they believe, and so when they're outraged, you must be outraged. And likewise for the Republican Party. And uh, that's, that's the triggering on both sides. Republicans trigger, Democrats trigger. They just do it in their own special way. And uh, that's how they divided us, specifically for the purpose of conquering us because that's from the art of war. They're following the playbook of the art of war. And unless you read the art of war, you're not going to catch it. So, uh, that's why we're at where we're at. And the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are a part of that process as uh, a multi-billion dollar, hundred billion corporation I mean, you do not become a multi-hundred billionaire by doing honest work. Working hard, being honest in all your dealings, as you'll remember from your, your Temple Recommend interview. <coughs> and uh, 
Yeah, that's why the church shut down. Is because they're in on it. They're not giving of their hundreds of billions. Because that's what's needed now. People are going without work. It's going to be soon when people don't get money. And Trump's all talking about, oh, we're going to give money to the people directly. Yeah, how much money? Just a thousand dollars? Are you going to continue that month after month? I don't think so. <laughs> and so uh, they're doing exactly what Obama did to save America from the 2008 collapse. Is that he just threw money out to the corporations to bail out companies and to have the companies invest in themselves so that uh, they can uh, build back up again and build up the economy. And uh, it worked for the companies. It didn't work for we the people. Uh, but uh, uh, that's what Trump is going to be doing now is just throwing money at the problem and, and hoping it'll go away. And this won't go away. This is a virus. This isn't an economic collapse because of uh, housing market problems. Uh, and so, uh, um, th this is going to be a failed big, big time. And uh, uh, it's, it's uh, forcing people into an equal labor field, if you noticed. Uh, because if everybody gets $1,000, uh, there are people who live at a higher uh, quality of life than others. And so, uh, it's at a, the low figure. And so unless he's planning on paying people their quality of life, uh, which uh, he, I don't see them doing, he's got a separate thing for corporations. <laughs> and so uh, those with the extreme high quality of life are going to be taken care of that way. Uh, but uh, the middle class, no, you're going to be treated like a poor person now. Uh, as you're going to get a thousand dollars a month, and uh, uh, just a thousand even, because people are going to die, uh, and so I don't see them continually sending out checks when people are dead, <laughs> and that's the sad part about it. But uh, but yeah, we're being locked up. This is the American Holocaust. And just like the world's holocaust, as they shut down nations, and shut down cities, uh, forcing people to be quarantined, uh, not just isolated. They're starting with isolation now because they know if Americans were forced to stay at home and not leave, and that they would be arrested and shot if they stepped out of their homes, there would be a riot. So they have to do it precept by precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. But they've gotten you guys so brainwashed and so fearful of your lives with coronavirus that they're able to escalate more than previously. Uh, but that was their whole plan, is to lock everybody up. Exterminate us, lock us up, separate us from our families, and implement their new world order. Remember? New World Order? Remember that fear that used to go around? The warning? Well, it, it's here. It's now. This is the New World Order transition. And so we're going to have a new economy. You know, they're shutting down all businesses. Huh. And uh, businesses will go out of business. And uh, after all this is done, a new America will emerge from the ashes of coronavirus. This was their plot the whole time to uh, destroy America. Uh, and, uh, and so it's not what uh, you had originally thought that it was going to be. You thought it was all going to be in Jerusalem and that America would be happy and joyful. 
and that we'd be sending our troops to help Jerusalem because Jesus is going to come. <laughs> and then the Jews would be converted to Christianity and do away with their heathen religion. That's the... Uh, you guys all got played. And so... But that's how the church got involved in it. Uh, Mormons uh, were transitioned from the thinking that Joseph Smith was wanting, uh, which was to stand up against this enemy attacking us in America, to save the Constitution, restore a constitutional republic, have Zion ready as the city of refuge. And here Mormons are thinking, oh, it's not going to happen yet because the Mormon prophets are not in Jerusalem getting murdered. we got to wait for that to happen before the end of the world. Is it? This is it. Period. I know people don't like saying period, but period. Get over it. Because <laughs> how are you guys going to understand? You know, at what point will you understand? And will we go forward from that point, refusing to look back? Most likely we're conquered so that history will be written by the conquerors and all the history will be fake news as a new history will be written for our youth who knew nothing of it and uh, those of us who go hey wait a minute that's not what happened <laughs> will be locked up and executed so that we do not disturb the new world order I mean, you guys are going to be losing your internet, not in the too distant future, and so you're not going to live hear my videos, you're not going to know what's going on in the world. All you'll know is that you're trapped in your home, and you're never going to be informed as to when you can go out, when it's safe again, because it's going to go through the whole summer at least, and then into the fall, and then into the winter, and then into the spring. How long can you survive without money? You guys were all warned, and yet they played you to a T, as uh, it's the end of the world. <sighs>